I'm Dan Ponsetto, the Wells R. Crowther Director of the Volunteer and Service Learning Center. He grew up in uh, West Nyack, New York, and uh, his father, Jeff, was a volunteer firefighter. Always carried a blue bandana. Uh, so Wells, as a boy, uh, always carried a red bandana around. And um, all through high school and college, he always had that red bandana in his pocket. And the idea of the bandana was his father said you always have to be prepared, being a volunteer firefighter, that if you go into a smoky area, you're going to need to cover your mouth. So um, Wells did in fact become a volunteer firefighter in his hometown uh, as a late teenager, came to Boston College, uh, and as I said, then graduated and was trading equities uh, on the 102nd floor of, of one of the World Trade Towers when the uh, terrorist attack took place. But in the weeks and months that followed 9-11, um, a, a person or two was interviewed and told the story of being helped by a young man who had a red bandana over his mouth. Uh, more people saying that they also were assisted out of the building and to the elevator and to the stair, one stairwell that led out of that building uh, by Wells. There's a story of him carrying a woman some, down some flights of stairs. And then uh, the last he was seen, as I understand it, was he was um, helping to carry a Jaws of Life back up uh, into the building uh, shortly before it collapsed. So this year will be the fifth running of the Wells Remy Crowther Red Bandana Run. It's a family feel to the race uh, where a lot of his friends come back to campus. Um, uh, one exciting thing too is that uh, our, our reaching out really to students here. And so we give a, we're increasingly giving a push to first year students to come out to learn about his life. Um, you know, his life and his example really, in many ways, we're proud to say animates our work because uh, here was a young man who uh, literally sacrificed his own life for other people. And so there's a clear, wonderful um, example for us to think about what animates uh, Boston College students in thinking about other people, in caring about the welfare of other people. So it's just a, a tremendous gift. I guess Wells died doing what he loved. Wells died, um, his parents often say, you know, he stopped being an equities trader in that moment and became a firefighter. And um, I, I think even more than that, certainly that's true, but he became a, a real human being and, and he lived out uh, and demonstrated what his greatest values were. You know, I don't think he was thinking uh, how should I act? I think he just acted uh, like Wells Crowther and that was uh, his truest self really came out in those last, last uh, moments of his life.